We have not, as a country, come to terms with our inability to deal with our loss. Our loss and our loss of our sense of security. We have not really been able to grieve well. When you can't grieve, you begin to replay relationships and past events that caused you hurt. It's like a death experience. And we're dealing with a significant death experience in New York City. And you begin to think about, what could I have done better? Am I to blame? Who's to blame? Um, how can this be fixed? And we didn't have an opportunity, I think, as a nation to do that. Today, our nation saw evil. We, we went automatically into an aggressive posture and we went into an asymmetrical posture of saying, here's what we're gonna do. Dead or alive, we're gonna find him, Osama bin Laden, and we're gonna get him. So we're always, in a sense, in a combative mode. And I think the hearings are a perfect example. There is that small element in the community that's radicalizing. In talking with uh, Muslims even prior to these hearings, indicate that Muslims in this country today feel more threatened than they did immediately after 9-11. And I hear that a lot. How would I feel if there was a tribunal called or a government official gather, government gathering that was called to investigate uh, the, the violent nature of Christianity in a particular country? How would I feel? So when we do something like we did here on Capitol Hill with Representative King, it's like that old phrase, when America sneezes, the world catches a cold. And the world is catching a big cold that's generating into pneumonia.